Hare Krishna. Good morning. Hello, everyone. If you could hear me, isang like naman dyan. And if you could see me as well. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, first of all, I would like to greet everyone. A happy Saturday ba ngayon? A happy weekend. And hello kay Alida. Kay Ben. Hi. Good morning. Kay Candy. Hello, Candy. Kaiser. Hello. Good morning. Kay Charles. Charles. Kay De Niro. Hare Krishna. Good morning. Kay Francesca. Hi, friends. Kay Jess. Hello. Kendrick. Kay Katie. Yan. Hello, Mervin. Yan. Kuela yung mga TikTok ni Mervin sa pagluluto. Hi, Pat. Good morning. <laughs> si Pavan Satya. Hello. Asan na siya? Ah, yan. Hello. Si Raul, hello. Good morning. Hare Krishna. So first of all, um, palagi po ulit-ulit natin gagawin is to always remind ourselves that we should always approach our spiritual life, our material life, and approach life in the mood of request, in the mood of humility. Ayun yung gusto natin ma-instill, ma-install sa ating um, ma-impress sa heart natin. Na kahit ano mangyari, we are in that mood. Hindi siya basta-basta tinuturo kung saan-saan. Walang seminar na basta-bastang pwede mo mabook how to be humble because it is also um, should be practiced. If one is being surrounded by like-minded person, this kind of characteristics, one could develop this um, quality. So we would like to um, impress that in our hearts to be in the mood of humility. Especially we are um, having this journey, this spiritual journey, together. Masabay-sabay tayo. Hello, Janice. Hi, hi. Good morning. Si Jess. Hello, Jess. So, we will recite the invocation mantras. Again, you can find this in the introduction part ng Bhagavad Gita as it is. O magyana timiranda sya janan jana salakaya chakshurun militam yena tashmai shri gurave namaha nama om vishnu padaya krishna prashtaya bhutale shri mate bhakti vedanta swami niti namine namaste sarasvati deve Guravani Pacharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya de Satarine Vancha Kalpataru Vescha Kripa Sendu Vebacha Patita Nam Pava Nevio Vaishna Nevio Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vashade Gora Bhakta Vrinda. Everyone. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So yes, basically the first mantra is an offering of um, obeisance, yes, or respects to so spiritual teachers. So it's, um, for my side, I'm offering it to my spiritual teacher, spiritual guru. And the second part is offering the respect to Bhaktivedanta Swami or Srila Prabhupada, the one who wrote, who translated the Vedic scriptures from Sanskrit to English. He is the teacher of my spiritual teacher. So ano siya? Spiritual lolo. <laughs> so yan yun sa picture. Then the Vanchakal Patru Biyasya, it is described as you, for you, offering respect for everyone. Because those who practice back to yoga is just like a wish fulfilling tree. They could fulfill the wish of everyone. Yung tree, di ba, pag may mango tree, they could give you mangoes. Pero ang wish fulfilling tree, they could give you everything that you like. So that's how we see those who person who practice back to yoga, who are self-realized, who are very spiritually inclined. So an offering to teachers and offering to everyone. That's the Pranam Mantras. And the rest, of course, is Jaya Shri Krishna. That's the mantra 
before chanting the Hare Krishna. So, on thing recap tayo. Ang nakaraan. <laughs> if you could remember, ano yung chapter 1 na acronym natin? Ano yung ano yung five letter words na yun? Tingnan natin yung sa mga nag- intro. The other one, that's the introduction. Yung chapter 1, doubt. Oh, ang galing, ang galing. Sige, pag nakita ko si Mervyn sa si Dash Charles, ano ko yung premyo. <laughs> Bibigyan ko yun ng instant sticks. Yan. Hindi ko alam kung kailan dapat ngayon pupunta ka Manila. Pag umalis na yung brother ko, hindi ko makakasabay. Kung hindi pa, I'll be in Manila. If not, maybe tomorrow. Anyway, before ko makalimutan, I uh, wasn't able to send yung link for the Kirtan or Music Meditation last night. I was in the um, emergency meeting. Pero tonight, there will be a Kirtan as well, Music Meditation. That will start 8pm. It will be not like yung pinakinggan natin a while ago. Yes, last night ganun yung ginawa with traditional instruments. So now will be um, modern instruments. We'll have guitars and all. So please join. It will be in Zoom and also will be the Facebook Live. So doubt, ayan ang ating um, acronym sa chapter 1. Because doubt is actually um, helpful. You can use it positively or negatively. You could check your um, lifestyle, your goal. Minsan, ano ba talaga yung pupuntahan mo? You have to um, introspect ulit. Ano ba dapat yung mangyayari? So, important ito. We have to have this for us to be able to find yung answers. And, and feel masatisfy tayo. We have to ask our, um, ourselves these questions. Bakit mo ginagawa yan mga yan? Is it, is it just for temporary things or um, you want it eternal or spiritual that will benefit you and others? So letter D is si Dhritarashtra. Ay si Sanjay. Mahirap pero pronounce yung pangalan niya. Siya yung um, bulag physically and spiritually. So si Sanjay, yung kanyang servant. And because there will be a war, nasa quarters ng sila, nasa kingdom ng sila. Tinatanong ni Dirita Rasa si Sanjay, what's happening in the battlefield? Then, si Sanjay nagkukwento. Meron siya mystic powers to have the vision of what is happening sa battlefield of Kuruksetra. So, yung Kuruksetra na yung pagpunta man ng India, andun pa rin yan. So, there is still um, that place. So, you could still hear me. Medyo unstable lang internet ko. Meron naman. Okay. Yan. So, obvious results, may tatlong sign. First is, kapag kasama mo si Krishna in your side, automatically, panalo ka. Even hindi mo kasama yung material energy niya. It doesn't mean that you're rich, you have all the material opulence, you'll be successful spiritually, or you'll be happy. But, even wala ka ng mga material things na yon, but you have Krishna with you, always, you're Krishna conscious, always, conscious ka na um, palagi kay Krishna, you'll be um, always in the side of victory and your obvious results. Second um, reason is si Lakshmi or fortune is a partner of Krishna. Wherever Krishna is there, fortune is there. So obviously, you'll win anything. It may not look materially um, 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 abundant, Pero, pag yan si Krishna, you'll be satisfied. Then, the last one is yung blowing ng conscious. That means um, yung shattering ng hearts ng mga kalaban. Because the conscious is a symbol of Krishna. And when Krishna blew the conscious, the Ar- and Arjuna and others, pinag-usapan din last yesterday ba yun? Anong isang araw? Si Hanuman, so, yes, si Hanuman kasama doon sa flag ng chariot nila, Krishna. Habang nag-blow ng conscious, sumisigaw si Hanuman. He's the um, demigod na, half, uh, na monkey, servant in Lord Ramachandra. So, long story yan. Bagad ng kwento yon pero sobrang mahaba. You can find that detail sa chapter 1 ng Bhagavad Gita. So, those are the obvious results. So, in our lives, 
hanapin natin kung sino yung gusto natin kakampi. Or kanilang side tayo palagi. Always choose Krishna's side. And uncertainty, nag-blow na ng consul, nag-draw na ng bow and arrow, nagtumugtog ng mga drummer doon, may mga trumpet na, lahat ng music instruments, ibig sabihin ready to fight na sila. Pero si Krishna, si Arjuna nagkaroon ng uncertainty. Gusto niya makita ko na yung um, preparation ng mga kalaban niya, sino yung mga nandun. Then he asked Krishna to drive the chariot in the middle of the battlefield. Nung nasa gitna na sila, nakita ni Arjuna yung nasa kabilang side. Nandun yung lolo niya, yung mga tito niya, yung mga pinsan niya, mga klase niya dati. Halos lahat ng mga close sa kanya. Yung guru niya sa fighting or sa uh, military arts, nandun din, kalaban niya rin. Then, nagkaroon siya ng bewilderment. Sobrang nalungkot siya. So, bakit war daw ang scenario ng Bhagavad Gita? Pwede namang ano lang, ah, nagkakwentuhan lang si Arjuna sa si Krishna. One, um, one main reason is, this is an extreme example na yung problema natin sa buhay, walang tutumbas kaparehas kay Arjuna. Nakailangan niya patayin yung mga kamag-anak niya. <laughs> yung attachment, tapos yung mga kamag-anak niya, ng mga demonyak, kailangan niyang gawin yun. For the betterment ng humanity. Well, it does. It may not you have to da- do that. Nakalimutan mo yung family mo and all. Pero ganun ka-extreme yung example. At the same time, nasa mga kingly's, uh, kingly, ano sila, um, um, line, nasa royal family sila. So it just mean, um, ibig sabihin lang na ito, nasa ganun level sila ng society and nasa ganun grabe yung problema nila we can all relate to them. So, nasa extreme sila, kung anong level ng extremity ng bewilderment natin, we can always relate to Arjuna. So, yung bewilderment ni Arjuna, he has different scholarly arguments kay Krishna. Ayoko na pumunta sa war. Ayoko na ituloy ito. After lahat ng preparation, biglang ayaw mo na. Sobrang nalilito na si Arjuna. Then, mayroong turning point. So, ayun yung i-discuss natin. Ang turning point ni Arjuna, he surrendered to Krishna. He stopped yung friendly relationship nila kasi magpinsan sila. Sabay sila minsan kumakain or natutulog. Very close sila, very tight sila. Pero no, Krishna, ayoko na nung ganitong relationship. I want it to be much more serious. I'm um, begging you to accept me as your disciple, as all surrendering to you. Please instruct, instruct me. So, nangingin siya ng instruction sa buhay. So, dapat niyang gawin kay Krishna. So, in gesture, mas lower na si Arjuna kay Krishna. That's how we um, always talk to seniors. We make sure they're much higher than us. Yung mga lolo and all. It's disrespectful na nakupo sila at nakatayo tayo. Tapos, we're higher. We should be much lower. So, these gestures, nakakalimutan ng mga tao yun. Diba? Yung mga bata ngayon, hindi nila alam magmano, mag-opo, or magpo. Of course, walang ganun sa English term. Pero even the gestures and yung mood, nakawala na. We should always be in this mood. So, welcome sa ating chapter 2. Parang maling session to. Session 6 na natin. No? Session 6. Or session, third session. Tama. Third session ng Essence of Bhagavad Gita. Yan, live edit. <laughs> the title is The Contents of Gita Summarize. Bakit The Contents of Gita Summarize? Kukwento natin ba mamaya. Ang ating acronym is Gita. Four letter words. Mabilis lang tayo today. Ibig sabihin ng Gita is song. Because Bhagavad Gita, the song of Bhagavan or the song of Krishna, the song of spiritual um, supreme personality of Godhead. Kasi lahat ng words niya is just like a song. Kung titignan niyo yung mga Sanskrit, yung mga verses, lahat yun may metro, lahat yun bilang. Pag pre-pronounce yun, may tono. Ganun sila mag-usap dati. Hanggang ngayon, ganun sila mag-usap. Pero hindi lang umabot sa atin. All the words are just like uh, music, song. That's how they speak. 
diba? with rhymes, diba? um, may multiple syllable na rhymes din sila. Kung mahilig ka sa mga um, pag-pattern, pag-wordsmith ng mga ano. Very poetic. Kaya song, gita. So, ito yung arguments ni Arjuna. Compassion, naawa siya sa mga kalaban doon. Mamatay sila eh. Ano, um, um, kawawa naman sila. Loss of enjoyment. Pag nalo ako, paano ako mag-enjoy? <laughs> Patay na yung mga kamag-anak ko. Patay na sila. Pag natalo ako, of course, hindi ka rin mag-enjoy. So, parang, kaya yung arguments na yun. Then, he have fears of sinful activities, sinful reactions. Papatayin ko sila, so may karma ako. Destruction sa family traditions because most of the people who are attending this war is the elders sa family, sa clan nila, sa mga tao. And all the traditions will be stopped. Then, the females will be exploited by unwanted men. Then, unwanted child will be there. Yun yung society, mag So, indecisive siya. Hindi na niya alam yung gagawin niya. So, ayun yung uh, arguments ni Arjuna kay Krishna. Anong dapat gawin? So, basically, si Arjuna is surrendering kay Krishna. So, paano ba mag-surrender? Paano ba mag-accept ng teacher or ng ating mentor, spiritual mentor? So, sino dito yung nagbasa ng verse? Saan taas ang kamay dyan? <laughs> sino nakabasa ng verse na to sa assignment? So, thank you pala. Hindi ko pa nare-reply yung iba sa gumagawa ng assignment. It doesn't mean you, you cannot, uh, pag nalagpasa ka ng assignment, hindi ka na pwede magpasa. So, pwede pwede pa rin. It's just a, a help para mas maintindihan natin. So, this is letter G, Guru, or spiritual teacher, or they call it spiritual master as well. The verse goes, Karpanya doso pata swababa, pricha mitwam dharma samuda chetaha, yastreyashan nischitam bruhitan me, sishyastriham sadimam tuam prapanam. So, kanan sila mag-usap <laughs> with, um, meters with tono and um, sukat lahat ng mga words nila. Sabi ni Arjuna kay Krishna, Now I am confused about my duty and I have lost all my composure because of mis- miserly weakness. In this condition, I am asking you to tell me for certain what is best for me. Now I am your disciple. A soul of surrender unto you. Please instruct me. So this is the mood of Arjuna. To Krishna. Ano yung mga sinabi niya rito? Confused na siya sa duty niya. He is a soldier. Um, soldier. Kailangan niya gawin yung duty niya. Kailangan niya dumaban sa war. Pero nakita niya yung mga conditions. Na confused na siya. Nawala na yung composure niya. Binitawan na niya yung, um, yung weapon niya. Nanginginig na siya. Pinapawisan na siya. Napaupo siya bigla. Miserly weakness. Miserly weakness means miser, um, nag-hoard lang siya. Iniisip lang niya yung sarili niya. Hindi naisip yung bigger picture. Hindi niya naisip yung bigger reason para mas um, mas uh, mag-benefit yung karamihan ng mas maraming tao. Kaya meron siyang, tinatawag niyang miserly weakness. Yun. Pero he admitted na nasa condition siya na ganun. He is not in illusion. In a way na niisip niyang tama pa rin siya lahat. So, napapansin natin minsan, merong tao na um, huling-huli na, pero ayaw magpakulong. <laughs> huling-huli na yung mali niya. <laughs> Ang dami pang lusot. <laughs> Gagawa ng para- paraan, di ba? Ayaw magpahuli ng buhay. <laughs> pero we would not learn if ganun tayo mag We could always accept our mistakes. And that's the first step para mas matuto. So, si Arjuna is very, is a gentleman, have this um, um, characteristics na he can admit, ito yung nangyayari sa akin. And what I need is a spiritual teacher, guru. Kaya sinabi niya, 
um, please tell me for certain what is best for me. Yung mga mentors, yung mga um, guide natin diba, sa buhay and all. Minsan sa kaibigan tayo na nag inquire ano dapat, ano ba yung bagay sa akin. Diba? Kahit even damit, diba? kasi ibang perception yun. Tayo, masyado tayong absorbed sa problem, masyado tayong absorbed. Iba yung perception natin. Pag galing sa ibang tao, mas um, nakikita nila. What more, if yung tatanungin mo is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's the best person to give us advice. To give us instructions. So, nagkatalong si Arjuna, what is best for me? Pero, nung tinanong niya yun, sabi niya, I'm your disciple. I will surrender unto you. Please instruct me. Inulit niya, please instruct me. What is best for me? So, anong role ng isang guru is to um, give us for certain kung ano yung best for us. Anong role ng disciple is to listen to the instructions and try to execute it. Hindi makipag-debate. Si Arjuna, marami siyang reason dito, pero hindi siya nakikipag-debate sa, sa teacher niya. He is um, giving his points in a humble mood. Debate is just an equal um, relationship. Ngayon, iba sila. Si Arjuna is lower. Subordinate. And teacher is giving or cutting yung mga wrong perception natin sa buhay. So, of course, bago ka tumanggap ng spiritual teacher, ng mentor, kailangan, kilala mo siya, alam mo yung qualities niya. Pinag-usapan natin si Bacho, Vigam, a sober person who can control the urge to speak and all. So, yung qualities ng isang guru din. Then, from here, you could be much more at peace. And na-realize niya na kailangan niya si Krishna as guru. So, ito yung tanong. So, now, meron kang mentor, meron kang spiritual teacher, diba? living spiritual teacher. Teacher din natin yung libro that's coming from the words of Krishna. But in life, we need a teacher. In, actually, in all the field ng buhay natin, importante meron tayong teacher. Mas mabalis yung buhay. Yung lahat ng trial and error, hindi mo nadadaanan. If may mentor ka na chef, mas bibilis ka gumaling magluto um, in no time. Hindi mo na daanan lahat ng no? trials and error. Of course, you will experience that, we will experience that, pero mas mabilis. Pati maging doktor, maging surgeon, diba? wala ka namang kapapatay, ay mali yung ginawa ko. <laughs> so, mayroon ka magtuturo sa'yo. You cannot be a doctor just by reading. Kailangan may teacher. Kumbaga, um, mayroon kang coach So like sa sports, mas magiging magaling ka pag may coach ka. Sasabihin niya sa'yo, iba yung form mo na ito. Lean forward, mas iba yung takbo mo pag nag-sprint ka na. So iba yung may teacher ka. In the fields of our lives, iba pag meron tayong, meron nag-guide sa atin. And mas effective yung pag-guide nila sa atin if we are humble enough. So in life, ganun din ka-importante yun. Sa field na music, sa arts, sa sports, Even sa career natin, pag may mga mentor tayo, we are shadowing them. Sobrang grabe improvement. What more pa sa real life and sa spiritual life natin. We need spiritual teachers. What's happening now is we're making yung mga poster lang sa internet. Yung, yung mga sinasabi lang ng mga meme na gawa nating spiritual teacher sa buhay yun. Ginagawa natin yung philosophy sa buhay yun. Or yung nakikita natin sa media. So, of course, advertisement is advertisement. Some um, people are just posting something, some quotes and all. Pero ang tanong doon, saan siya galing? Is it coming from the scriptures, guru of Sadhu and Sasra, or just someone made it up? So, it, the mind could be easily molded into something else. So, we need authenticity. Okay, that's why we need a genuine or authentic guru. Ano yung unang ituturo sa atin ng isang guru? Ano yung unang natin dapat tanungin or malaman? So maraming katao, magkasabi ng mga tao na, no, uh, I'm awakened, awoke, stay awoke, hashtag. 
So, maraming usong-uso yun. Pero ano ba yung ibig sabihin para maging awaken? So, kaya importante malaman kung ano yung unang dapat na lesson that we need to learn. So, letter I natin sa Gita is we should know our identity. Sino ba talaga tayo? So, this picture, if you have a Bhagavad Gita with you, you can see that. I don't know if meron to sa e I think wala sa e-book to. Pero um, the scriptures, um, the printed books, mostly may mga illustrations sila. So, kung titingin nito yung illustration na to, um, hindi, hindi natin matanggi na isang phase sa buhay natin, andito tayo. It's either you're here in the middle, adolescence, young adolescence, sa older age, or sa younger pa tayo. Pero this lifetime, dadaan tayo rito. Unless di tayo umabot sa old age, mag, mag, mag-dat kagad. Pero it's a phase. Lahat tayo dumaan sa pagiging baby. So dumadaan siya. The body changes. Yung titigan mong kamay ngayon, nung bata ka, iba yung itsura niya. Perfect example. Tingin ka sa salamin. Ten years ago, iba yung itsura niya. And sabi sa uh, medical field, in seven years, all the cells ng body mo nag-change na. Hindi na ikaw yan. <laughs> if you have your Bhagavad Gita with you, you can open it sa text um, 13. Chapter 2, verse 13. Mahirap pag nasa ano pala, no? Nasa e-book kasi. Um, yeah. Ginagamit po, hindi ginagamit mo sa inyong phone. So, text 13, 2.13. The verse goes, Dehinos minyata dehe, kaumaram yaubaram jara, tatha dehantara praptir, diras tatha namuyate. Translation, as the embodied soul continually passes in this body, from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a, such a change. Kao maram, yao maram, jara. Kao maram, boyhood, um, youth, jara is old age. So, nag-change ta ng body in this lifetime. Kung nakikita nyo, yung white na to, this is you. This is us. We're um, transferring we're changing our bodies. And the self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Marami na stress kasi ayaw nila tumanda. <laughs> yes, you have to look good if you need... Op- we have to look good. We have to look presentable. Lalo na kung nasa line of work natin. Yan. Pero hindi mo may iwasan magkaroon ng wrinkles dyan. Diba? Or pumuti yung buhok mo. Or maging five head na, hindi na four head. <laughs> Tumataas na siya. Uh, hindi mo iiwasan yan. Kahit maraming visit ka pa sa um, kay Bello, bakit mabenta sila yung mga ganong dermatologist? People are afraid to grow old, to look old. It's okay to maintain yourself, to look better. Diba? Pero you should not be stressed, depressed, or in anxiety if it's happening. You should embrace old age. And after old age, death is certain. So it's okay also to mourn for the loss of our loved ones. Pero the preparation for that mourning is ngayon pa lang habang buhay sila. Habang buhay yung love natin sa paligid. Yung mga loved ones natin sa paligid. Diba the, the, the book, Choose Lee with Morgie? First book review ko, hindi ko lang kung sa inyo rin. First book review ko nung high school. Um, gusto niya every Tuesday, kakausapin siya ng mga tao para sabihin niya mga good thing about sa kanya. Kasi pag nasa wake na, pag patay na siya, hindi niya maririnig. And people are, ah, bait-bait niya, sayang siya, bata pa naman. Ang dami niya nagawa sa kanya maganda. Yung appreciation, yung gratefulness, sinasabi pag patay na yung tao. Hindi niya marinig na yun. <laughs> diba? So, we should be always like that. Alam natin na everyone will die. 
then your relationship with your family, your relationship with your friends, yourself, will be different. Anytime, pwedeng tapos na yun. Pwedeng hindi mo siya makita bukas. If that is the consciousness, eh, ko lang kung makikipag-away ka pa into small petty things. So, this is self-realized soul. Ano yung ginagawa natin? Bakit tayo nandito? We want to self-realize. We have to realize ourselves. Sino ba tayo? Next illustration is this one. Chapter 2, verse 22. You can move a few pages. Another illustration. Napakaganda na ito. Nandun pa rin tayo sa identity. Medyo tatagal tayo sa letter I kasi ito yung first na lesson na we need to learn from the spiritual teachers. Basam si Jirnani at Habihaya Bama na Bani Grinati na Roparani Tatha Sarirani Vihaya Jirnani Anya ni Samyati na Bani Dehi As a person puts on new garments, giving up old ones. That is the analogy. Ito yung sagot dun sa assignment. The first line, as a person puts on new garments, giving up old ones. So, nagtanggal ka lang ng old garments. Madumi na to, kailangan laban. So, uh, I have to accept new one, fresh clothes, bagong laban, bagong plan siya. Similarly, the soul accepts new material bodies, giving up the old and useless ones. So, analogy, kinumpare. In much more um, relatable, oh, sa mas magaan na philosophy. So, ganun. Kung nakita niyo to, nagatanggal siya ng zipper. <laughs> May illustration niya. Kasi it's old one. That's an old one, di ba? May COVID na yung body na to. <laughs> diba? Pumapalya na yung ibang organs. May sakit na. Yung mga joints, kalawang na. May diabetes na rin siya. Ayaw na niya ng, wala siyang insulin. Yung kidney niya, medyo nag-fail na. Same. Papalit na siya ng body. Pero, kung ano yung pupuntahan niya next, that will be the question. Ano yung body na accept niya next time? This will be the next illustration. This will explain the karma and reincarnation. Didiscuss natin all throughout. Text 20, atras ng onte, 2.20. Najaya te mire te baka da chin na yam butwa babita ba na buya. Ajo nitya sas vato yam purano na hanya te hanya mani sarire. For the soul, there is ni- never birth nor death. Nor, sorry, iba yung translation ko dito. Alam ko, abisado ko yan. For the soul, there is neither birth nor death at any time. He has not come to being, does not come to being, and will not come to being. Um, he is unborn, eternal, primeval, and nakamuto ko isa. He is not slain when the body is slain. So that's his translation. Yung soul, hindi siya namamatay, saka pinapanganak. Yung body lang yon Never mamamatay. Never ka mamamatay. Because ikaw yung soul. You're not the body. It's not coming to being, will not come to being, and does not come to being. Hindi siya bago. Old, soul, old souls tayo lahat. Bakit tayo nagsama-sama ngayon? One way or the other in our previous lives, nagsalubong sa lubong na tayo. And we have to discuss this. Sabi nga nila, walang incident sa buhay. Not a blade of grass will, not, will move without the sanction of Krishna. So, hindi ko alam kung napapansin niyo. Minsan may dinaanan kayo dati sa buhay niyo. Tapos, after some time, o oh, nga no, connected to dati. But kung na-experience to, magagamit ko ngayon. Sinabi rin ni Steve Jobs yun. Matatrace mo lang yung magagawa, matatrace mo lang yung mga points, yung mga dots para makita mo yung figure. Pag tinignan mo backwards. In the future, hindi mo basta-basta makikita. So, ganun din yung mga tao. Magkasalob mo ka dun sa mga tao based kung ano yung reactions from your previous lives. Minsan, good karma ibibigay ng bawat tao. Minsan, bad karma. Minsan, may kasama ka sa 
sa paligid mo na kahit anong gawin or wala naman silang ginagawa, iratable ka na sa kanila. <laughs> Baka kaaway mo na sila dati. Or first time mo sila nakita pero ang gana kagin ng loob mo. But my soulmate, but my twine, ikaw na yung mga uso ngayon, twine me and all. Previous lives, there are times and relationships as well. So, hindi bago yung mga yan. There will be new ones if gagawa ka ng mga bago for the future. So, what we have now is based on our past lives. Kung ba tayo pinanganak dito sa Pilipinas. Diba? Bakit di tayo sa first world country, sa royal family pinanganak. Diba? And what we are doing now will determine our future lives. That will explain bakit may mga um, tao na pinanganak with deficiency kagad, walang kamay, or um, pinanganak sila na mayaman, or pinanganak sila na mahirap. That would explain it. Yes, Krishna or the Supreme is very fair. That is fair. Inequal. Kaya ganon. Sobrang equal. That is karma. Good and bad karma. So, yung activities natin will determine ano yung body, na, body natin next lives. So, kung nakikita nyo, last figure, ayan, puro tao lang to, pero to explain, much further, one could be in a body of animals, moving, living entity, or non-moving living entity. It is um, very, um, a trace of an intelligent person kapag nakita mo yung animal and you have a, a connection. Yung mga bata nakita mo very innocent. Diba? Alam nila yung mga pets, yung mga animals. It's a lie. What is the evidence of a soul in a body? Ano yung evidence para malaman na and yun yung isang soul? Nandun tayo sa isang body? Yes, merong consciousness. It's buhay. So, one cannot deny that these animals is um, alive and yung soul and doon, kaya buhay yung animal na. Ano ba yung experience? Bakit manalaman natin yung sila? May consciousness. Masaktan, iiyak sila, may family sila, mahal ka nila, puprotektahan ka nila. They will feel pain, they will feel love. It's um, no-brainer sabi, para sabihin na Hindi, living, ano lang, ano lang sila, matter lang sila. With that kind of interaction, feeling, emotion, consciousness, hindi natin masabing matter sila. This is matter. Diba? Just matter, just a thing. Yan. Non-living thing. Pero animals are living things. Even puno. <laughs> and even earth. So, depending sa activity, good and bad karma will determine our next lives. So, one could be different forms ng animals until panganak siya ulit, mag-death, birth, hanggang maging tao siya ulit. So, text 23, 2.23, Nainam, chindanti, sasrani, nainam, lahati, pabaka, machainam, kledayanti, apo, naso, sayati, marutaha. The soul can never be cut into pieces by any weapon, nor can be burned by fire, nor moistened by water, nor withered by the wind. Bakit sinabi to ni um, Krishna kay Arjuna? Kasi sabi ni Arjuna, pag pinat- ayoko sila patayan, kawawa sila. Next pa ni Arjuna na, you're not the body. You're not also the body. Kahit anong weapon, pinakamagaling na soldier si Arjuna, meron siyang weapon, uh, may um, sa bow and arrow niya, he will recite mantras, and the effect of it is more than uh, nuclear bombs. Kaya tawag nilang Brahmastra. The nuclear bombs natin ngayon made of fire. Pero dati, they could just recite uh, mantras. It can be in different elements. Water, wind, um, fire, earth. Diba? Kung mahili ka sa mga history, ancient aliens and all, ito yung mga uh, makikita mo doon. <laughs> so ito, ito yung mga ginagamit nila. Not the mantras. So you cannot kill the soul. You cannot cut them into pieces. The body can be cut. So text 27, I'll just read the 
the verse. For one was taken his birth, death is certain. And for one who is dead, birth is certain. Therefore, in the un unavoidable dis discharge of your duty, you should not lament. So, kailangan mo gawin yan, Arjuna. Sabi ni Krishna kay Arjuna, you should fight. Tuloy mo, ito lang laban. That's your duty. Kasi, lahat na pinanganak mamatay rin naman. Lahat nung namatay, they will be born again. Bakit kailangan sila mamatay? Kasi they are aggressors. Sila yung gumawa ng assignments. Sila yun. They are aggressors. They deserve to die. Bakit? If um, hindi may stop in life nila kasi ginagawa nila to, they will gain much more bad karma. And they will pollute others as well. If it is stopped, next life may chance nila after nila pagdusahan to in different animal body kasi depende sa karma mo ng isang tao natin. Doon tayo pupunta. We'll go to hellish planets. Hindi tayo eternal sa hellish planets. Then, we'll go to different bodies ng animals depending sa karma natin. Well, you become a human. Pag hindi na hinto yun, people are still doing this, tuloy-tuloy sila, mas matagal yung karma nila. So, they deserve yung ma-end yung life nila that lifetime. Kaya, naka-arrange na mapatay sila sa war. Dito naka-base yung mga law um, ng land natin. Of course, wala sila. Supposedly, Originally, nasa scriptures sila nakabase. But of course, in due time, hindi na babago yan. No water down. So these are the six kinds of aggressors. So in explaining ni Krishna, hindi mo kailangan maging compassionate. That is your duty. As a Chatriya, kailangan mong gawin yan. Ang Chatriya, isang soldier, sila yung mga leaders natin. Sila yung pwede maghatol. So ayun yung duty nilang ni Arjuna na kailangan niyang gawin. Bakit si Arjuna gusto niyang tumakas? Ayoko na lumaban, Krishna, at suko na ako, pupunta na lang ako sa forest, mag-meditate na lang ako doon. You want to escape. Just like the impersonalist, you want to escape the responsibilities and duties. Gusto niyang mag-meditate na, walang connection sa mga tao, sa society. And just escape, just save himself. Ganun yung gusto gawin ni Arjuna. Si Krishna as his teacher, we should fight. This is your duty. Hindi mo kailangan maawa. That is your duty. Because they did this. They are the six aggressors. Tayo, we should not be in this side as well. <laughs> we should not do this. Never. These are the six aggressors. So yan, we're moving forward. Mas mabilis na to. Letter T ng ating Gita. Ay bago tayo pumunta rito, ito muna yung ating Number one, one-liner na turo ni Krishna kay Arjuna. Please repeat after me. I am not this body. I am the spirit soul. That is the first lesson we should learn. This is my body. This is my vehicle. It doesn't mean na napapabayaan mo to. Mas kailangan mo siyang alagaan. Kasi, you know, this is your tool para ma-perform mo yung mga letter T natin. Two duties. Yan, ating two duties is, inaralan natin number one, Dharma. Yung purpose ng buhay natin. The real position is to become a servant. That is the soul, duty of a soul. Uh, this is Shira Papad serving, cooking for people. Hindi ko lang po ginagawa niyo yan. Nag Nagkachop ka ng gulay sa kamay. Yung may iba mangga. Ako hindi ko kaya na nang iwa ako. Or those who are really expert kaya na nang... Uh, Ay, sila Mervyn, siguro yung mga cook sila pat. Those really um, expert using their knives. I, I saw people in, ano, in India, wala silang chopping board. Kaya nila maghiwa ng ganun. Hindi ko lang ba. So, ating swadharma, the second duty is material position. If you're a mom, you're a soldier, you're a cook, you're a yoga teacher, you're an artist, or a musician, so, sino dito nakakilala dito sa picture na nasa right side? I hope I'm not that old. <laughs> ah, kilala ni Peter. Sino pa ba? Wala na. Si Raul. Kilala ni Raul. You know this guy. O kaya si Janice. 
Oh, this is George Harrison. So, you may have a si George Harrison from Beatles. The band The Beatles. So, musician siya. So, material so position niya, maging musician. And he also practiced Krishna consciousness. Kaya yung mga music niya, yung mga lyrics niya, so deep. Diba? Kung napapakinggan mo yung mga album niya, mas maganda yung mga sinulat niya and music niya after Beatles na era niya. Pero hindi, hindi, he didn't um, live inside the temple. He always go to the temple though. Pero yung buhay niya, alam niya yung duty niya, ginawa niya, parang si Arjuna. Siya, he makes music that would touch everyone's, um, everybody's life. Na mga karinig no? hanggang ngayon. With um, nice lyrics, that art form and all. So, ayun yung material position niya. Ayun yung body. Duty ng body. So, this is the, these are the two um, duties natin. We should know. And, ito yung inaharap natin palagi. Ito yung sweet spot. Yeah. Minsan, inaharap mo yung passion mo, inaharap mo yung purpose mo, and all. Ito lang naman yun eh. If you could do these two in combination and in harmony, you'll be much more um, satisfied sa buhay. So this will be um, answering yung arguments ni Arjuna na loss of enjoyment. Sabi ni Arjuna, paano ako mag enjoy Pag namatay ako, hindi ako mag-e-enjoy. Pag namatay sila, hindi ako mag-e-enjoy. No, Krishna, hindi yan. Ay, sabi ni Krishna, no, Arjuna, hindi yan yung basaya ng enjoyment. It is not material. It is not selfish. If one is doing your duty, Materially and spiritually, you'll be satisfied. So, marami tayo nakikita ng mga gumagawa ng philanthropic activities and all. They're happy. Uh, we can say that they're um, spiritually happy, but they're happy, it seems. Diba? Satisfy sila kahit di sila mayamang-mayaman, pero they could give. They have that duty. So, if we are doing this too, our duty spiritually and our duty materially and nakokombine mo sila, nagagamit mo sila, paano? You will use your material um, duties to serve your spiritual duty or your material um, thing or opulence or pagmamayari, magamit mo siya sa spiritual na duty mo to serve. If one is doing this, one will be letter A which is Atmarama, this one Sanskrit word that means self-satisfied. Doing these both duties will feel, they will feel self-satisfied. Balikan natin yung mga transcendentalists, the impersonalists, the yogis, and the bhakti yoga, bhakti yogis. Impersonalists wouldn't feel this. They will feel empty. They will meditate on nothingness, the light. They will feel empty. Bakit? Ayun yung meditation nila, wala. <laughs> Siyempre, empty. <laughs> very basic, very philosophical. Diba? Wala problema, wala rin saya. Empty. Of course, the yogi, will, the meditators, um, will have maybe mystic powers. Diba? Mas magrabe siya mag-stretch. <laughs> diba? Mas longer in breath niya. But the bhakti yoga, the bhakti yogi, means doing this both. You're not escaping your life, your duties, your responsibilities. At the same time, you are serving your dharma or spiritual duty. Doing this both is called bhakti yoga. Si Arjuna, kailangan niya maging a soldier. At the same time, he serve spiritually si Krishna. Bakit war yung scenario. He need to be um, a soldier. Ayun yung duty niya materially. Pero kailangan niya iserve din yung guru niya, si Krishna. That is back to yoga. Ju- um, dovetailing, dovetail, tail ng, to- tail ng, tail ng dog. <laughs> I-coconnect mo yung material duty mo spiritually. Does it mean nakakalimutan mo yung material? Pupunta ka lang sa kweba, mag-meditate ka, mag-yoga everyday ka lang all the time. Fasting naman ako, hindi ko alam magtrabaho. No. Doing this too will give us self-satisfaction.
So what is the mood of a person who is um, self-satisfied or at marama? He can control his senses. Kasi satisfied siya. Wala siyang kinikrave na harap na iba. Hindi siya nag-divert ng anger. Hindi rin siya nag ng ibang um, urge para masatisfy yun. Yung iba may mga issue, di ba? May daddy issue na kukuha sa... Ayun yung inharap nila sa boyfriend or sa asawa. Di ba? Pag um, hindi sila na pa dede nung nanay nila, they will be addicted sa yosi or something. Di ba? Hindi mo kailangan i-divert kung ano-ano pa. You're satisfied. Psychologically, makikita yon. Yung mga mental illnesses, ganun din. Trauma and all. If one is self-satisfied, they could heal themselves as well. Of course, if much more deeper yung wound, mas, mas, mas may kailangan na spiritual teachers and spiritual activities. Yung isang person with um, self-satisfaction, mas madali niya controlling yung senses niya. Just like snake. Yung snake, hindi mo naman basta-basta matuturuan yun. Hindi mo may pet yun eh. Maghagis ka ng treats tapos um, gagawin niyo yung trick mo or mag-play ka ng fetch sa snake. Hindi. <laughs> Pag nagawa niyo yun, let me know. <laughs> Pero, may mga snake charmer. They will just use music and the snake will be um, hypnotized. Gagawin niya yung gusto gawin nung snake charmer. Same thing. If you're self-satisfied you're practicing back to yoga, your desire is dovetailed. Pinag-usapan natin last time yon yung mga senses natin. Yung mga desire natin and yung senses natin gagamit natin spiritually. Then yung senses natin, just like a snake, could be could easily be charmed. You can be um, uh, controlled by yourself. Not by your senses. Ikaw yung nagkocontrol sa senses. Master of the senses. So that will um, answer the um, argument ni Arjuna. Na? Destruction of family tradition. Last point. Yung tradition hindi ibig sabihin ito yung kultura. Tradisyon, ibig sabihin lang, ginawa lang ito na matanda na. Ginawa na ito na matagal na, ilang generation na. O yung naging tradisyon na ito, di ba? Hindi siya lagay yung kultura. Culture, originally, come, is coming from the scriptures. Di ba? Maging humble, mag-bow down, mag-mano, di ba? Mag-opo. That's the culture of respect. Coming from scriptures mismo. Kahit si Krishna ginawa yun. Si Krishna, may guru din si Krishna. To give us an example. Tradition, may gumawa lang na ito somewhere down the line. Then na ulit-ulit lang. There is a story. Sa India, if you have been, or you witness, you have witnessed a wedding in India, or an Indian wedding, minsan, hindi lang um, three days to. Minsan, one month. I saw celebration ng one Um, yeah, one, hindi lang one week. Yung iba, one month pa na celebration. Minsan, more than pa yon Wedding lang yun. <laughs> Araw-araw, bagong event for the wedding. So, meron nag-wedding, tapos, yung nagko-conduct nung ceremony is the elders, lola, nung bride. So, they're preparing it, tapos may tatawag silang fire sacrifice. May fire, tapos may mga flowers, and all, may mandala. Tawag, tawag nilang yag na yon Pero bawal matouch ng mga hayop yon ng mga pets kasi makakontaminate. They wanted to be pure, the ceremony. Sabi nung lola na nagkakontak ng ceremony nung wedding, um, pwede nyo ba ilagay sa box yung pusa natin para hindi nyo puntahan kung saan-saan. So, kinaka- pwede nyo kainin kasi yung mga nakadecorate na fruits. We're offering it. So what happened is, kinahon na yung, naka, yung pusa. Then nakita ng mga tao na kinahon yung pusa. Then the wedding was perfect. Pinakawala na yung pusa afterwards. There comes a time na um, yung bride naging lola na siya and siya yung kailangan mag-conduct ng wedding sa apo niya. She did the same. Marami pa rin silang pusa. Kinahon na lang yung mga pusa. Tapos they did the wedding ceremony. After wedding, pinakawala na yung mga pusa, pwede na. Then, wedding was perfect. Then, few generation came. Yung apo niya na nag, naging bride, naging 
um, siya rin yung nag-conduct ng ceremony. Tapos yung apo na rin yung nag-conduct ng ceremony. Then another one, another generation. Pero this time, yung magkakonduct ng ceremony doon sa apo niya na bride na kakasal, wala na silang pusa nun. Pero nakita niya, yung mga lolo, lola ko, sa kakakwento sa lahat ng picture, mayroong nakakahaw na pusa. Ako, wala tayong pusa. Ako, kailangan natin maghanap ng pusa. Ikahon natin. Kasi kasama sa ano yon sa tradition yon Tapos ginawa nila. Kinahon nila yung pusa. Naghanap sila ng pusa. Tapos nilagay nila sa wedding. Tapos pinakawala nila after. That is tradition. Somewhere down the line, may gumawa. Kahit walang explanation, ginagawa pa rin yun. Tapos tayo naka-hold tight tayo na dapat ganito gawin kasi yung tradition natin, ganito na yung ginagawa. Bawal i-break yun. So we should not be attached with that unless it is a culture mismo na coming from the scriptures. Yung iba binabago nila yung culture. Diba? Bata pa lang pinapainom na ng alak. Hindi, tradition natin to. Pero diba? sa culture naman talaga, no one takes intoxication. So that is, that will answer the tradition um, na arguments ni Arjuna. The family tradition. Hindi naman tayo dapat attached dun sa tradition lang. Ang dami tradition ng Filipino na hindi naman beneficial sa lahat ng tao, di ba? Tradition na nga mang, ano eh, mang bully. Magpaiyak ng ano eh. Pag tito ka, papayak kami yung pamangkin mo. <laughs> Kasi, oh, ginawa rin sa akin ng tito ko to eh. Kaya gagawin ko rin sa ito. <laughs> Pero hindi siya healthy mentally, di ba? So parang ganon. We should be aware. We, we should be mindful kung ano yung ginagawa sa paligid natin. We should not just embrace it. So that would answer yung arguments ni Arjuna. So lahat to na tackle kagad ni Krishna. Na defeat kagad yung arguments ni Arjuna. Even scholarly na paganda nung arguments ni Arjuna. Na tangkal kagad ni Krishna. In a scriptural way with examples and all. So that is our Gita. Anyway, hindi rin siya indecisive. Alam niya yung dapat gawin. So that is our Gita. We need a guru spiritual teachers or mentors in different aspects of our lives. What more? Yung spiritual teacher natin. And the first thing that we should learn is identity. Sino ba talaga tayo? And para malaman yun, yeah, kailangan natin ng guru. And habang alam natin yun, mas magagawa natin yung duties natin. The soul duty ng soul, which is dharma, to become a servant, and yung duty ng material position, which, whichever kung ano yung position mo. A student, a warrior, an artist, a musician. It doesn't mean na papalip- kakalimutan mo na itong material duty mo kasi magkapokus ka dito. No? Much more kailangan mong ang gawin na mas maganda yung material duty mo. Kasi you have much more reason to do it kasi magagamit mo yan sa service mo spiritually. So whatever you're doing now, do your best beyond the capability, beyond the call of duty. But the consciousness is different. You will use it, the result of it, the skill set, the talent, or the result, the fruits, sa service mo, sa spiritual side mo. And if one is doing that, one will become at parama or self-satisfied. Before I end, sakto makitan na. Bago yung assignment din. <laughs> please, 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 if you have your phone with you, you can type. I want you to type this. I'm not this body. I'm the spirit soul. It's a one-liner. You, well, Everyone should memorize this. Type nyo lang. I am not this body. I'm the spirit soul. Kung di ka lang nag drive <laughs> this is the first lesson that we should learn from our spiritual teachers it's e- easier said than done it's easier na sabihin kesa pakiramdaman pag napaso ka I'm not this body I'm the spirit soul masakit talaga siya nararamdaman mo yung paso sa'yo but um, as time goes by, we should always 
recall and remind ourselves. And it doesn't mean na papabayaan mo na yung body mo. Go work out, nag-exercise ka, eat healthy, diba? love yourself. Because that's your tool to perform your spiritual duty. And last, I want to end this with a note. He who asks a question is a fool for five minutes. He who does not ask a question remains a fool forever. Si Arjuna, ang dami niyang question kay Krishna. Supposedly, kaya tinawag na content of the Gita summarize yung chapter na to, tapos na dapat to, in-explain na ni Krishna anong dapat gawin ni Arjuna. Pero, si Arjuna, maraming tanong. <laughs> Hindi siya nakipag-debate, pero marami siyang gusto matutunan pa. For his benefit and for the benefit of us. After 5,000 years, that's the same question we have. So, nagtanong pa siya kay Krishna. So, humaba pa yung kwentuhan nila sa gitna ng battlefield. So, having a question in the proper mood, humble mood yung question, it's not challenging mood, is actually beneficial. He who asks a question is a fool for five minutes kasi yung mga tao, talagang yung talong niya, very busy. <laughs> Pero who does not ask a question remains a fool forever. So, bago tayo po dumating sa ating questions and, questions and answer, ito muna yung assignment, papakita ko sa inyo. And please turn on your cameras kasi magkipicture na tayo. This down the eighth process of fall down. 2.62, chapter 2, verses 62 to 63. Sa verse lang kayo titingin, hindi nyo kailangan tumingin sa comments. Pero pwede nyo basahin. Pero yung answers, you can see in the translation, yung verse lang mismo. Eight process of fall down. And explain three to five sentences, the philosophy of soul and body. Use the analogy. So, yung mga diniscuss natin sa mga to. Yan. Ito yan, verses number 13, 22, 20, 13, 20, 22, saka 27. 23 pala kasama. So, type natin. You can read that and get your answer from, for this one. And read the verse and for part ng 3.9 as an advance for the next chapter. I'll send this then naman. So, picture muna tayo everyone. Hare Krishna. Sakto at 10 o'clock. Puro photo. Hmm. Laging kasama si Samuel Jackson sa picture natin. Eh. <laughs> Yes. Okay, count of three. I see my camera. One, two, three. One more. Again, paulit ulit, maraming maraming salamat. I'm humbled and honored to have your association. As we're trying to learn, I'm also learning much more than you, hopefully, <laughs> because of your presence. And, um, I gave all the credits to our mga scripture teachers because what we're discussing now are taught by them as well. Tinuro nila sa akin. So if you if you need to do anything, please do it with grace, with humility, and you have your mantra now. I'm not this body and the spirit soul, but I need to do my duty, both duties. Beyond pa yung ginagawa ko mas kailangan mong galing yan. Kasi alam mo na yung purpose mo. Alam mo na yung puso. So, ingat pa rin. Doble ingat. Okay? Do, please don't catch the virus. Diba? And share this consciousness even without speaking. Last time I checked, action speaks louder than words. So, be the kindest person on earth. And thank you for walk, walking the earth. Salapit na marami kay Candy, Hare Krishna, kay Kaiser, kay Janice, Hare Krishna, kay Charles, Kay Mervin, hello, hello. Abangan ko yung mga TikTok ni Mervin. Si KD, abangan ko yung post ni KD. Yan, gusto ko gusto ko yung mga stories niya. Si Raul. Hello, Raul. Kara, hello. Kay Pat, hi Pat. At yung mga mga kakachat ko palagi. Si Ben, hello Ben. Ja, and si Francesca. Si Pavan Satya. Si Alida, Alida, Alida. Bakteron, from Bataan. Ga. Si Pasqua, si Danilo, ayan, si Christine, Hare Krishna. Again, 8 o'clock, we'll have a kirtan. I'll post the 
link sa group if you want to join. And if you have questions and answers, you could um, type or raise your hands to unmute. But I'll unmute everyone to say hi and well wishes to everyone. Hare Krishna. Good morning. Have a Krishna conscious Hare Krishna. Yeah. And don't forget to chant your rounds. Ha. Yung mga nag-promise, i-chat ko kayo. <laughs> so chant, chant. Chat, chat tayo later. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, KD. Good morning. And si Danilo Hart din. <laughs> yan, yan. I'll check. Meron tayong, ano, meron tayong questions. Or question lang. Si ano ni... Nabasa ko kanina. In the second identity illustration, what is on top? Ito yan. Ito yan. Alam doon na sa ibabaw ng illustration. Hmm, sorry lang. Yan mo kayo. Share screen. This one. Yan. This is actually evolution. Hindi siya yung evolution ni Darwin. That is just bogus. Lahat ng philosophers and scientists tinanggal na sinabing theory lang talaga of evolution yon. Pero actually hindi lang theory. Dinebunk na nila. Pero of course, yung tao na niniwala sa evolution pa rin ngayon because of just movies, ano. Pero mismo yung pati yung mga students niya, tinanggal na yung evolution na yun, na galing yung tao sa um, monkey or galing sa reptiles or sa fish. Pero this is the spiritual evolution. Means, after one's life of having a human body, he will be either going to heavenly planets and hellish planets, depending sa karma, good karma and bad karma niya. Pero hindi siya forever doon. Because, we discuss natin ito in the future, yung hellish planet sa material, um, hellish planet, material planet, and the uh, heavenly planet are all in the material plane, plane. And we have the spiritual plane. Magkaiba yun. Yung heaven, material pa rin yun. Then yun yung mga demigods, yung mga angels. Pero still material. So, our karma, depending sa activities natin this life, will give us body sa hellish planets for to suffer some bad karma. Then, going up hanggang maging nasa earth ulit tayo or pag nasa heaven tayo para bumaba sa earth ulit. So, yung earth natin yung parang quiz natin, exam. <laughs> dito tayo nag-create ng karmas para sa next life. And dito rin natin mag-break yung karma natin para bumalik sa spiritual world. Anyway, evolution means you will be born from lowest form of animals, species, packet na packet hanggang maging tao ulit. From bacteria, virus, tapos maging non-moving living entity, maging moving entity, fish, ma um, beast, mammals, hanggang maging tao. That's the evolution of reincarnation. Going up. Hindi nag evolve yung um, species na yun. From the start, ano na yung 8,400,000 species of life. Hindi siya magbabago, mag-evolve lang. May madidiscover yung mga tao kasi ngayon lang nila nakita. Pero, ang evolve, evolution is, when one dies, he will go to another body. Hanggang maging tao siya. So, ito yung picture na yun. Evolution of birth and death. Hanggang maging tao siya ulit. And when one is in a human form of life again, that is the chance para magawa niya yung spiritual activities niya, yung dharma niya. When one, in, one is doing the dharma, to serve spiritually, and one get a chance to break this cycle of birth and death and go to spiritual world, back to Krishna. So anyway, that's the whole summary of Bhagavad Gita, actually. That's the yoga. And the practice of yoga is to help break that cycle, the chain of birth and death, or samsara, titawag na samsara. Kaya uso yung mga mandalas and all, kasi cycle of life yun eh. Birth and death, birth and death, birth and death. Ang kailangan mong gawin, but may back to yoga, may spiritual life, is how to break that. So, ayan yung second illustration. That's on top. Evolution na kuna yun. Actually, ayun, yun, ayun din yung naging third. Yung naging third na, ano, na picture. Hmm. This one. Ay, share screen ko pala. So, ayan yan. 
evolution niya to evolutionally from fish hanggang maging bees mammals hanggang maging tao siya tas kung yung activities niya this life is animalistic life balik siya sa animal life so basically ganun kung animalistic life ginawa niya this lifetime pupunta siya doon if he wants to sleep all day long the nature the law of nature will give him a body na he can sleep na sobrang tagal just like yung mga bear they can hibernate for six months you know, if you want to um, just have sex all life pero ginagawa niya this lifetime habang tao siya the nature will give him a body na he can do that like love yung dove or yung rabbit yung buhay nila puro sex lang multiple sex a day so that's the nature kaya the nature or God is fair bibigyan niya sa yung gusto mo that's your desire Sorry, quick peek lang ng peek sa mga download movies pang background. <laughs> diba? Si, maganda yung maganda yung movie niya. Eh. Before I was into filmmaking. Eh. Kaya alam ko si Pulp Fiction. Si Pascual, eh, monk ba kailangan ng clean cut? Usually monk, uh, mga monks, they shave their heads. It's a sign of detachment. Hindi nyo kailangan gawin yon. Si George Harrison, actually, tinanong nyo yun kay Shula Kaupad um, as his spiritual teacher. Kailangan ko ba magpakalbo? Gusto ko magtumira sa temple. Sabi niya, Shula Kaupad, no. Your duty is to become a musician. Then do it. Just ask Arjuna, hindi naman siya kailangan magmok. Gusto nga niya magmok. Pero sabi ni Christian, no. Duty mo lumaban eh. Do it. Pero ang importante, ano yung consciousness mo while doing these activities? Just like every one of us, Everyone is unique, having different material duties. So, gawin natin na maganda yon. Pero may guide, of course. Sa bagawad kita, anong guide dun sa material duties? Ang importante, kung ano yung consciousness mo sa heart and sa mind mo. Which is, and should be, Krishna conscious. Why we are pulled out from the spiritual world? Magandang question ni Jaa to. Yeah. Mabalikan natin yan. Pero ayun yung magandang question. Nahuli natin yan kasi yung kukwento natin yan. Is it also evolution on the bottom of the third illustration karma? Yes. Tama. Ayun yan. That's evolution. Evolution of consciousness sa your all. Um, yes. Evolution of consciousness kasi um, when one is in the lower species of life, animals, plants, trees, low, um, lower din yung ano nila, consciousness nila. Na kasi nasa ganung body sila. Diba? Ang consciousness ng isang aso is kumahol, umamoy, diba? mag-sniff, uh, maging territorial, umihi sa mga pader. That's your consciousness. Hindi mo sila pwedeng asahan na gawin yung human consciousness. Pero yung tao, minsan animalistic consciousness siya. Hindi minsan, madalas. So, yun yung ano. Ano ba itong hawak ni Ben? Is that a, is that a cat or a dog? <laughs> Na pusa yan. Diba? So, ganun. Um... Animalistic consciousness. That's a comparison of a human being. Bakit natin ginagawa yung back to yoga? This kind of yoga philosophy? For us to become human. Kasi yung mga tao, yung world is designed to become also an animal. Sabi nga nila, the parang most advanced animal is human. Mali, baliktad yun. <laughs> yung, yung as a human um as a human being na body, pag yung soul dito, human siya. Ang problema, paano niya um, nililive yung life niya? There are four kinds, according sa scriptures, na activities ng isang animal. To eat, to sleep, to defend, and to have sex. Dito umikot yung buhay ng animal. To eat, sleep, defend, to have sex. Yung human being, ginagawa rin to. Minsan, mas magarbo. Minsan, lesser. They eat. They eat. Pareho. Kaya, sa, kaya natin malalaman na conscious yung isang animal. May solo sila. Ginagawa nila to. They both eat. They both sleep. Ay, balikan natin. They both eat. Yung animals could, could eat summer lang. Kung sa kalsada lang. Diba? or mismo sila yung mga fresh na kinakain nila they got it from the free tayo they, we got it from SM they got it for all for us diba? mas maganda pa sila fresh fresh to pick tayo naka plastic na 
minsan mas magarbo yung buhay natin. Like, we could eat in the five-star restaurant. Diba? Mas polished, pero same. We're just eating, just like the animals. We sleep. The bear can sleep six months. Tayo, minsan puyat pa tayo. <laughs> Dahil sa work. Or we could sleep sa napagandang um, luxurious na, ano, na bed. With the mga napagandang design. Diba? We could sleep. Pareho na yung sleep lang yan. They could defend yung mga animals. They have fangs. They have claws. Diba? They are born with self-defense or weapons with themselves. Tayo, we have to make it. We have to be trained how to fight. Diba? Yung mga gorilla, hindi nila kailangan mag-workout. Malakikitawan talaga nila. Tayo, kailangan natin mag-gym. <laughs> Sa kanila, natural yun. Defense, mas magaling sila doon. Tayo, yeah, we can hire a bodyguard. Lagyan mo ng lock. Yung door mo, di ba? Meron kang armies. So, defend. They both defend. Humans sa animals. Have sex. They have sex. People have sex. Nagawa naman talaga pareho. Yung, uh, yung animals, yung aso, sa kalsada lang sila. They could have multiple boyfriends. <laughs> yung tao, um, wag naman sana marami kang boyfriend, pero wag rin naman sana sa kalsada, but they also do it. Pareho lang. Only thing is, abusive yung, uh, yung people, yung, uh, um, yung mga uh, humans. The animals is only doing that because it's their in heat season. Of course, some, just like dove and um, yung mga rabbit, they do it often, more than 10 times a day. Di kaya gawin ng tao yon. Mga 20 times and all, di kaya gawin basa-basa ng tao yon. So, mas nag enjoy yung mga animals actually sa eat, sleep, um, defend sa have intercourse. Kapag yung tao, ito lang yung ginagawa nila sa buhay nila. Animalistic life sila. Ano meron yung tao? Nakakaiba? Is to have self-realization. To have these questions about spirituality, the purpose of life. Hindi kaya gawin ng animals yun. So that's the purpose of spirituality. Pero pag wala yung tao ng ganon, they're just living animalistic life. Branded lang yung suot nila. Branded lang yung weapons nila. They could just eat in the restaurant or um, have sex in, in, in an island na napaganda. Same. So, there is a difference nung animals saka ng um, human being. The evolution of consciousness. Even nasa human consciousness na tayo, ang tanong, ano yung consciousness natin? I mean, nasa human body na tayo, ang tanong, ano yung consciousness natin? Animal consciousness ba? Or human consciousness? So, that's also the evolution of consciousness. Kung habang umaangat yung body, papunta sa human person, human being, nag-evolve din. Pero pag andito tayo sa human body, ang tanong, how do we live our life? Ano yung lifestyle natin? So, ano yung consciousness natin? Are you basketball consciousness? Basketball, basketball conscious? Di ba, alam mo yung sa basketball, kahit nasa SM, nag-shoot, wala naman bola. Ganun yung consciousness nila. Sobrang, ano, sobrang basketball. Sobrang passionate sila doon. Diba sa kotse, ganun din. Lahat ng kotse, kabisado nila pag may dumaan, alam nila yung, tunog pa lang, alam nila yung makina. So, ano yung consciousness natin? So, that's the evolution of consciousness. Evolution of life and evolution of consciousness. May devolution of consciousness. Yes, ito na yun. We can be um, having the animalistic consciousness. Even having this human form of life. And punta natin yung question ni Ja. Why are we are pulled out from the spiritual world. We are originally coming from the spiritual world. For sure, si Ja, marami na siya nabasa ng libro. For sure, um, alam din ni Ja yung answer, but he wants to ask question for the benefit of everyone. Um, we are pulled out from the spiritual world because of our desires. Originally, kasama natin si Krishna sa spiritual world. But we have desires to enjoy separate from Him. Just fraction of this, that desire. Then, si Krishna is all um, the Supreme Personality of God. Pwede niya ibigay desire natin. So, we are here in the material world to fulfill that desire, to enjoy, supposedly enjoy. Yeah. But we will go back there for after some time. Pero, it will take us a long time for us to realize that again. 
minsan hindi lang 10 lifetime, 10 birth yung itatake natin dito. For sure, marami na tayong birth na dinaanan. Birth and death in different human body and animalistic form of life. Baka hindi lang hundreds, kundi millions pa. Pero babalik din tayo doon kapag na perfect na natin yung spiritual life natin. Na-break na natin yung birth and, um, birth and death cycle natin. And pagbalik natin doon, it's just a fraction of a second. Kasi the time sa spiritual world is eternal. Our time here is can be measured by the what? By the clock, by the sun, go goes around the earth, the years and all. So that is the reason ba tayo nandito? Because of the desire. So totoo yun, yung law of attraction. Ganun din yung magagawa nung meron tayong one. Kasi that's your consciousness. The nature will uh, our, our self will make us do it, whatever our um, na-attract natin or desire natin. Then the nature will give kung ano yung depende sa activities natin and yung desire natin. So if our desire is always um, to be Krishna conscious, to be always with Krishna, inisip natin palagi si Krishna, and our activities is spiritual, we can go back to him. Everything starts from our desire. If you desire to be successful in a in a field of work, you'll become like that. Maybe not this lifetime, but next life. Yeah. If you desire to become a great musician, diba? thinking then after is um, feeling then willing. Lagi mo iniisip, may feel mo siya, mararamdaman mo siya, and gagawin mo na siya. Willing ka nang gawin mo. Mag-practice ka palagi para gumaling ka mag gitara. So same thing with spiritual life. We have to be Krishna conscious so we can get back to it. So that is the, hopefully, nasagot ko yung question mo, Jeff. The reason why we are pulled out from the spiritual world because of our desires. And the, pra- the process of this um, yoga philosophy, meditation, or we call back the yoga, is to purify or spiritualize our desire. So more to that, actually, for the whole Bhagavad Gita, we will discuss further. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, please, please, please chant your rounds. If you have chanted your rounds, please let me know. If not, it's a chat coding. And if you have photos and um, pictures to post, please tag us. And if you have questions, you can always send a private message. I'm just begging for your forgiveness kasi hindi ko palagi may asa ko 24 hours a day. And so I also have some duties. And also, I'm attending classes as a student. And at the same time, not just our success sa spiritual life, napag-chant ako, napag-basa ako, natacharan. You can also share your struggles. Ang hirap pala magbasa, no? Pag matagal na yung college time, tapos pabalik ka muli after 5 years, 10 years. Or ang hirap mag-chant, yung mind ko lumilipad. I would love to listen to everyone's um, challenges also. And would like to also humbly help if there is anything that I could assist. So maraming maraming salamat for our um, question and answer students. <laughs> if you have questions, um, pwede yung ipunin and you can send it to me. Hi Ben, kay Ron, Prabhu, kay Charles, De Niro, kay Ja, kay Gazer. Yeah, si ja. ja, are we friends on Facebook na ba? Add me nga. Si Pascual, hello. Si Pat, si Pavan Satya. Thank you, you've been here since um, earlier than everyone. Si Raul, thank you very much. Maraming maraming salamat. Have a Krishna conscious day and be the kindest person on earth. High five, everyone. High five. <laughs>